Hey guys, Steve here, Wolden is 333, and I wanted to do a video of, uh, of me testing out something today. I'm going to test out a uh, space blanket. Um, we're in a blizzard here in Colorado. We, uh, let me show you here, got, I don't know how well you can see that, but 28 degrees, but the real feel there is 4. And it's been snowing all day, and we've got 4 degrees outside with the wind, and I'm going to take... Uh, this space blanket. It's it's a nicer one. It's thicker, has a hood on it, and uh, I've, we've used it for tarp shelters before. I'm gonna take it outside. I'm gonna hunker down, wrap myself up, and see if I was in a in a situation where I needed it. How warm is it really gonna keep me? I've always kind of wondered. Um, space blankets are supposed to do the trick, but I've never actually tested one in conditions like this to see how warm it is. Um, you know, I'm wearing, I'm going to go out in normal dress. I'm going to go out, you know, normally I'm never leaving the house without ways to start fire and things to protect me and way better clothes than I'm going to use now. But I'll, I've got the sweater on with a cotton shirt underneath. It's wool, jeans, boots. I'm going to wear a hat because my, I always have a hat with me. I think that's realistic. I never go outside without a hat in the winter due to my lack of hair. But uh, I'm filming this now because it might be really windy and if there's no sound out there, I'll cut it. If, uh, if this is really howly, because that's just super annoying on a video. So I'll time it, I'll tell you how it goes, and you can come along with me. Okay, so I'm out here. It's pretty windy. You might be able to hear it, you might be able not to, um, but it's cold. Um, you know, 20 degrees, it's not horrible, but with that wind, it's really breaking it down. So I'm gonna wrap this up. You can see it's pretty much snow covered everywhere. Go over me like a hood, <laughs> and I can wrap myself up. Um, it, it covers pretty well. It's, it's it's pretty decent size, so we'll see how this will work. But uh, cool. we'll go uh, we'll go hunker down, try to protect myself from the wind like I would in a given situation, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm wrapped up in this, um, kind of down here behind a tree. And it's not too bad, but uh, right away, I've only been here three or four minutes, right away, you know, I'm sitting on the snow, I'm pretending, you know, if this was their situation, I didn't have a way to make a fire. Um, the ground's really cold, um, and I, I'm losing heat through there right away. And if I had to hunker down for the night and try to protect myself, and I don't, I don't know how good of a system this would be if it wasn't combined with other things, if I had to rely just on this blanket, because if I were to lay down, then I'm going to be losing heat, not just through my bottom, but the whole entire side or back of, of where I'm laying. So, um, but I am feeling it radiate heat. There, there's no doubt about it. Up in my torso, my feet are going to be uncovered, so they're going to they're going to get cold eventually through my boots. Um, if I were stuck out here four or five hours, man, I don't know. Um, probably wouldn't die, but uh, I'm going to get cold. So we'll stay out here a few more minutes. See how it goes. Okay hey guys, um, I've been out here almost 20 minutes. Results in a short amount of time in uh, wind chill at 4 degrees. Um, I, you know, I'm staying fairly warm. I'm, I'm mostly comfortable. But uh, I'm losing a ton of heat through the ground. That's just going to be killer. Um, I'm looking around in my backyard trying to wonder, you know, it, it, this is sort of if I get stuck. If, if it was a really bad situation. I'd need to get off. I need to get off the ground. There's no way. Um, and if I was stuck... Um, but, I don't know. This thing, maybe it's just that in this emergency space. Like, if anyone knows any ideas on how to better use these in a situation like this, without anything else, like uh, if if I had a fire, I could turn this into a tarp, or if I had some paracord, I could do something like that. Um, but you know, th these come in little survival kits. You know, what could you do with just this? Um, my feet are uncovered; they're getting cold. This thing's cutting down the wind more or less, and I feel heat radiating. Um, that's for sure. Um, so it could last a while in that way, but I wouldn't be able to lay down if I was stuck all night. Um, I'd need to get off. I need to get off the ground. Uh, my butt's really cold. Um, and I'm, I'm not sure what I'd use around here, but uh, there's not a lot of leaves. I wouldn't be able to make a leaf bed. Um, but anything, I'd, I'd need to try something. I'd need to try to get off the ground if I was in a real situation. That's the big that's the big learning point on this one. Um, this thing, it's, it's not so bad. It's keeping me warm. But uh, you definitely don't want to be relying on this. I, I just, I wouldn't want to be. I wouldn't want to be relying on this all by itself. I'd want something else. Because um, I'm cold. And, and mostly through my butt. I'm losing a lot through my legs and my feet. Because it's not covering everything up here. I'm pretty good. So, uh, 
maybe if I had better clothes on, but I'd, I'd need to be off the ground. So if I got stuck, I don't know, I have to try to improvise and think of something. So, but back here, that's not happening. I could sit in a lawn chair. <laughs> That actually would help if I was really stuck out here. It's what I'd do. But anyway, so uh, just losing heat through the ground. Otherwise, the space blanket's okay. I don't know if I'd want to last all night in it, but there's one little test. Hope it's helpful in any way, shape, or form. All right, thanks, guys.